I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. Say, what are you doing? Uh, what do you mean? What have you done to the revolutionaries? You make me so mad. I, I just, I just painted a Hulkamania, brother. The red and the yellow, brother. Brother. Ooh. Do you approve? That is a nice touch. I approve. Can we go to WrestleMania? Yes. WrestleMania. Uh, we're back on the Wrestling Revolution. Speaking of WrestleMania. WrestleMania. There is no Santino Marella or Kofi Kingston or Drew McIntyre scheduled. Triple threat match for the Intercontinental yes. title. That'd be the greatest match ever. Because we, we would see the... The return... Huh, huh, huh. And we would see the return of... The Honkometer. What's up? The Honkometer. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so Santino. Um... We said we'd prepare for the, the biggest match in WrestleMania history. And we're going to do that with the top 10 matches in Shawn Michaels' career. Because think about it. Shawn Michaels loses, his career's over. If Undertaker loses, is, is his career done? Is the dead man dead? So next week, we're taking a look at the Undertaker's 10 greatest matches. But tonight, it is the ultimate list Yes. of the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And you want evens or odds? I don't care, my friend. I'm telling you, this is my... Ah! Friend. He's here! Good God. Well, obviously, John Michaels had a, a, a vision from The Undertaker. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of flustered now. Do you want evens or odds? He's back again! Folks, the wrestling revolution has been kidnapped by The Undertaker, but... um. Yeah, and we're still here, but we've been kidnapped anyway. We are kind of a little intimidated and afraid now. You want evens or odds? Take whatever you want, my friend. I'll take the odds. Do it. You have the even. That means you have to go with number first. Number 10 isn't even, isn't it? Yes, number 10 is even. <sighs> All right. Number 10. In our greatest countdown ever of Shawn Michaels. Number 10 is their match from WrestleMania 19. I don't know, fingers. He's back again! We're leaving. Okay, good. I hope he's gone. Anyway, anyway. he's gone. You have nothing to worry about. Children, you can open your eyes. Anyway, Shawn Michaels, obviously, because this is a list, versus Y2J Chris Jericho. The Ayatollah of a rock and roller. That's right. It was, it, it was a grudge match at WrestleMania 19, a very technical battle. Shawn Michaels getting the W. And Mr. WrestleMania proving why he is Mr. WrestleMania. That's right. Number nine, the 1995 Royal Rumble. Shawn Michaels goes coast to coast. Wait, analysis, please. Well, you know, when my favorite wrestler wins the Royal Rumble, obviously it's a big deal. I'm lasting 30 stars. Yes. Going to WrestleMania. Going to WrestleMania 11 against Diesel, yes. Yes, sir. So, Went coast good. to coast, it was the Shawn Michaels rule. That's right. One, not one foot, two feet. Number eight. And number eight is the retirement match from WrestleMania 24, HBK versus The Nature Boy. Woo! Ric Flair. Can history complete a full circle at WrestleMania 26? Shawn Michaels puts down The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, in a tremendous battle. Except Ric Flair didn't like really stay retired, so kind of hurt the impact. But it was a tremendous matchup nonetheless. WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania went Hollywood, and it was an interpromotional battle between Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. Tremendous battle. This is number seven, by the way. And Kurt Angle defeated Shawn Michaels by submission. Yeah. But it was a tremendous matchup, nonetheless. Very great, tremendous matchup. You got one of the greatest technical wrestlers in the whole world in Kurt Angle versus... The man. He is the man. The Shawn myth, Michaels. the legend. Not uh, a myth, because he's living there. He's a living legend, Mr. WrestleMania. Number six. Number six is the Elimination Chamber from 2002. The very first Elimination Chamber saw World Heavyweight Champion Triple H defend against Rob Van Dam Kane, Booker T, Chris Jericho, and the Heartbreak Kid, John Michaels. That's right. And it seems like, Wade, when you need somebody to do something for the first time, you always throw Shawn Michaels in the first or something. And he made it tremendous, winning the World Heavyweight Championship. That's right. There was a new sheriff in town. Speaking of first, number five. It is the Hell in a Cell from 1997. The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels from Bad Blood. That's right. You know, Hell in a Cells are always good. Uh, They're brutal. Well, usually. 
Unless you make a gimmick pay-per-view out of them. Yeah, then they're kind of just... <laughs> but they got more buys, more buys than Survivor Series. Mm -hmm. Which is why WWE scrapped Survivor Series. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway. I heard they might make war games, though. Yeah, they might. Anyway. Hell in a Cell. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. What an incredible match they are. Michaels, a bloody mess. The debut of Kane gives Michaels a win, but nonetheless, Shawn Michaels set the bar so high for the Elim or the Hell in a Cell, rather. Number four is, uh, your turn. Number four is from SummerSlam of 2002, HBK, Shawn Michaels, versus the Cerebral Assassin, the game, Paul Levesque, Triple H. It was the unsanctioned street fight. Shawn Michaels coming off a four-year absent to fight Triple H in a fight. And it was a brutal match. Shawn Michaels with a jackknife pin winning. Uncharacteristic of Shawn Michaels, but a tremendous contest nonetheless. Absolutely. Shawn Michaels still the man. That's right. Number three is from WrestleMania 10, the undisputed Intercontinental Championship on the line. A ladder match. Shawn Michaels against the man oozing machismo, the toothpick throwing Razor Ramon. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That's right. Incredible ladder match. You know, unifying the Intercontinental title matches. This were the day. These were the days back when the Intercontinental title actually meant something. Aw, sorry, Drew McIntyre. Hey, what can you say? Anyway, set up the stage for future ladder matches. Great, incredible match. What else can you say? Now, another first where Shawn Michaels is put in there. Speaking of a first, number two. Number two is the Iron Man match with Bret Hart at WrestleMania 12. The WWF championship was on the line. There's a space in there, don't worry. Uh... On the line, they go over an hour. Shawn Michaels, in overtime, delivers not one, but two sweet chin moves to put away the hitman Bret Hart in maybe the greatest technical wrestling match in history. Yeah, that's right. If you watched our top 15 uh, WrestleMania matches, this was high up on the list in the top five. I believe it was number two. Yeah. And it actually followed behind the number one match here as well. It is from last year's WrestleMania, only fitting The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. When the streak went from 16 to 17. That's right. Uh, I remember watching... The, well, I'm getting goosebumps right now. You watched it with me. That's right. The Wrestling Revolution had a party. As We're we having do. it again this year. That's right. Anyway, go on. Anyway. Yes, we had a great big old party. And uh, Janet Jackson was here and we, we had fun. Anyway. <laughs> you know, what can you say? I'm sure you guys have seen the match by now. If you haven't, and, uh, watch it. Well, yeah. I mean, you gotta... There's YouTube, just watch it. I'm, you know, come on. The thing is, this matchup, it had the Wrestling Revolution party torn, and it really was a tremendous battle. That's right. Uh, you know, number one greatest WrestleMania match uh, for our list. And, of course, number one greatest Shawn Michaels match. Only That's fitting. right. Well, next week we said the Undertaker's list. That's right. What matches will top the Dead Man's list? That's right. Will the, will the WrestleMania 25 match be at the top of the list again? You'll have to tune in and see. see. But, but we're not done yet, because we got one more part of these videos. Something involving questions. Questions. Or, or something hmm. with the people out there. What an intriguing concept. With the people on the other side of the computer screen. Yeah. There are other people outside. You. No, no, they're down there. They're down right there. There's one of them. Ew. Like, see, there, there, there's there's Spirit's Lecture over there. And there's uh, some other guy over there. And there's there. Brain Freeze Pop. And there, there's Ace. A Ace? Oh, man. All right. That's right. We like to give shout-outs to our friends here on the wrestling. And there's Jojo the Little. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll be right back with our final part. So stay tuned.